Hey guys, welcome back to Small L.A. Noir and part 7 of our walkthrough. Let's get straight into the action, shall we? Phelps, Bukowski, you have a new case. Two women, possible drink drive. How is that a case? The broad says she was doped and that somebody tried to kill her. Where did this take place? That's the bitch you're gonna love. Right across the street. What? A Chevy style line took a nosedive off the escarpment, fetched up underneath a Cola King billboard. Up to it, boys. We got bad guys to catch. Yeah, this is a, a case I always remember. So, see you later, yeah. fellas. Try not to work too hard. Look at you bantering with the boys. It's a tear to my eye watching my caterpillar grow wings. I'm just trying to fit in. Educated, hardworking, straight as an arrow. I hate to break it to you, Cole, but you'll never fit in. That's the thing. Pretty's an honest stuff. And where we headed, he said right across the road. I think it's up there. So we can drive that. Don't be lazy. Oops. Try making <laughs> it to the next intersection without killing anybody. Can you do that for me? I don't know. Let's try Bukowski, but I can't promise anything. Goddamn maniac! Stop just ahead. Her face looks familiar. Well, that's June Ballard, <laughs> Tarzan's sister, beast of the Amazon. She's married to Guy McAfee. The captain has moved to Vegas now, but the two of them still have juice. Phelps, traffic. Detective Phelps. Hey, Bukowski. Long time no see. You could have called this in by megaphone, Enrique. <laughs> Phelps, this is Enrique Gonzalez. Enrique was a pretty decent middleweight. What do we have, Gonzalez? Broad drives right through the empty lot and off the side of the escarpment. Her story is that a movie producer doped her and her friend and sent the car over the cliff. Was anyone hurt? Driver's beat up. Not too bad, considering if she hadn't hit that billboard, we'd be scraping both of them off the pavement. Passengers are Jessica Hamilton. She's just a kid. She's pretty knocked around. Kid gonna be all right? I think so. They've taken her to Central Receiving. If you want to take a look around, install the ambulance. Thanks. Do that. One more thing. Watch out for the driver. She cuts rough. All right then. If you're looking for the coroner, he's down by the crash site. Let's go and talk to her. Mrs. McAfee, we would like to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. I prefer to use my maiden name, June Ballard. You might be familiar with some of my work. Can you tell us what happened here? You're kind of cute for a cop. Maybe a bit on the serious side. What about me, June? I'm a big fan of beasts. I don't like. Keep out of this. We understand that you're still suffering from the effects of the accident, Mrs. McAfee. The officer says that you claim that you were drugged. Who did this to you? That rat slipped us a Mickey Finn. It's no wonder I feel so dopey. I can't remember. It's a serious offense to withhold information from the police during a criminal investigation, madam. I told you to call me June. You're making me feel like an old lady. And don't bother your handsome head about this. My husband will settle the score with Mark Bishop. You mentioned a Mark Bishop. You think he might have had something to do with this? He is a movie producer. As for his involvement... 
You just leave it to me and my husband to worry about. I want to know what happened between you two that made him want to commit a double murder. Bishop offered me a part in his picture. Then he withdrew it. Fact is, we had a deal. I pressed him on it. And this is where I am. And then I'm guessing problems. We need to get our bearings. Let's go see the coroner. I'm guessing that we're gonna go back with more questions for her after we've uh, seen all of this. <clears throat> you wanna see this, Phelps? There, laid out on the trunk. And that isn't even the best part. torn off. Where did you find them? They were stuffed in the young lady's handbag. I'll run a trace for semen when I get back to the lab. She's a long way from home. I just want to see if there's anything on the back of this. No. Don't think so. Oh, was it this? Okay. In here. Ooh. Looks like they're lucky they weren't more badly injured. Must have been unconscious. Being relaxed tends to lessen the soft tissue damage. Drunk driver? Maybe not. How so? Well, a head I found without a body piqued my interest. See what you think. <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. <clears throat> Is it real? No. I think it's supposed to be a replica of an Indian shrunken head. It's some kind of curio or movie prop. See the casting marks? What's it made from? Plaster of Paris would be my first guess, then paint it. So we can rule out the murder angle? No, you can rule that in. That thing was wedging the accelerator to the floor. Whoever did it wanted these women dead. We should speak to Ballard again. She might not be telling us the whole story. Interesting. I don't know why he did that whole thing with the, the skull. That was really weird. Um... But yeah, let's go and talk to that woman and see what she's got to say. What can you tell us about the passenger in your car? Jessica Hamilton. Poor Jessica. It's been a rough day for her. She's desperate to break into movies. What more can I say? How old is Jessica, Mrs. Ballard? I couldn't say how old Jessica is. Old enough, sweetheart, as the saying goes. Hmm. We found a shrunken head. It was used to tamper with your car. You see, I normally don't drive off cliffs. The last thing I remember is getting behind the wheel. It's obviously some kind of movie prop. You must know where it came from. In case you hadn't noticed, I am the talent. And the talent doesn't deal with props or sets or any of that kind of stuff. Why don't you ask Mark Bishop which prop house he uses? Mrs. McAfee, I think it would be in everyone's best interest if you accompanied Patrolman Gonzalez back to the receiving hospital. I'm going to be okay. 
These guys can take me home after my lawyer and I have talked to the news hounds. Mrs. McCaffrey, you are still under the influence of narcotics, and you're likely to go into shock once the drugs wear off. And I thought you were a heel. It's nice of you to be concerned. I think we're good here. Let's go see what we can shake out of the kid. Hmm. I don't really know how uh, we were meant to accuse her. I guess the underpants, maybe, but... Uh, not sure. The car crash victim has regained consciousness at Central Receiving Hospital. 11K Roger, en route. Here we go. Detective Phelps, here to interview a Jessica Hamilton. Jessica Hamilton? Oh, yes. She's in the room right behind you, Detective. You can't hold me here. No! I Feeling don't better need since this morning, that Jessica. By a doctor. I need a my little. lawyer. My head still feels. Where sweet. is the telephone? Do you know who I. Hello, Jessica. Uh, my name is Cole Phelps. I'm a policeman. I'd like to talk to you about your accident, if that's okay. Um, okay. Can you tell me what you remember about the crash? It's all kind of fuzzy. I remember waking up here. Nothing happened yesterday. You're holding out on me, Jessica. Please, I want my doctor. I'm not sure I can answer any more questions right now. I think we need to redo the checkpoint. <laughs> I think we need to uh, bring the underpants in. Oh, damn it, I've restarted the case. I'm really sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, I'll see you in a second. I thought you could go to the last checkpoint. Damn it! Let's hope we can do it second time. Look here. So here we go. Um, I did change my answer with uh, the um, actress Here to interview with and changed it to the underwear and it was um, it was right oh, yeah. that time. She's in the room right behind you detective so I think that's what we're gonna have to go for here no I don't feeling need better to be since this morning Jessica. Doctor. I need my A lawyer my head still where is the telephone hello Jessica uh, my name is Cole Phelps I'm a policeman. I'd like to talk to you about your accident, if that's okay. Um, okay. Can you tell me what you remember about the crash? It's all kind of fuzzy. I remember waking up here. Nothing happened yesterday. Tell the truth, Jessica. Why the big cover-up? I'm not lying to you. We found your underwear in your handbag, Jessica. You need to tell us what happened. The doctor told me what happened. I... I didn't want that. I just wanted to be a star, to be in movies. I told Junie what happened, and she told me to toughen up. That that was the price of stardom. Did she now, cold-hearted bitch? It's not Junie's fault. It's not my first time. I had a boyfriend back home, but... My father found out about him. Even if you consented, Jessica, you're still underage. She's 15, I'm sure, like, the, the legal age in America is 18. We need to get in touch with your parents, Jessica, to tell them what has happened. Oh, you don't need to worry them. They sent me along to stay with Aunt June. They trust her to take care of me. You're lying, Jessica. How are we going to make this right if you lie to us? Please, Detective, why would I lie to you? 
Because you were a runaway, Jessica, and you don't have your parents' permission to be here. Now, do you want to tell me what really happened? I went with Junie to this strange place. It's difficult to remember. Someone gave me a drink to calm my nerves, and then I felt faint. I think I must have passed out. How did you meet Mr. Bishop? Well, Junie is a big movie star. You probably know that. She's doing a new movie. What's the story with Bishop and Mrs. McAfee? Why does he want the two of you dead? That can't be true. Mr. Bishop seemed very happy today. I mean, yesterday. And that's why he wedged a shrunken head against the accelerator pedal and punted the two of you over an escarpment? I overheard Junie speaking to him on the phone a couple of times. Screaming, really. She can be very hard sometimes, Junie. But they seemed okay yesterday. Like they worked it out. I know what happened to you, Jessica. Where exactly did it take place? Please, it's scary. It's really difficult to think of anything. Someone tried to kill you, Jessica. Do you get it? Forget about being in movies. It's time to act like a grown-up. I had to wear a robe and lay down on a stone. There were lights, a camera. It's not my fault. I'm not a bad girl. Why are you trying to hurt me? Thank you, Jessica. You've been a big help. Here's my card. If you think of anything or you need some help, just get in touch, okay? Okay. I think it might be a good idea if you went back home till you felt better, Jessica. I couldn't do that, officer. What if I got the part and I wasn't there? Mm, we picked the wrong choice at the end, but I don't really know they what else we would went for. Lambs that go willingly to slaughter. Who the hell is that? Must be her lawyer. He certainly expedited her release. I don't like it, Cole. Why is she in such a hurry? We should follow her. There she goes. Come on. Ballard is definitely up to something. Easy, Cole. Better back it off. Now would be a bad time to forget how to drive, Cole. She seems to have made a remarkably speedy recovery. Maybe she wasn't in the car? Yeah, I don't like these missions where you, you tail them. I'd much rather he was driving. Get in there and see what she's up to. and you know what I want. Well, then make someone else do it! You still know people out here, don't you? Then make some calls! I'm gonna be very clear about this. You get this done, or I'm... Wilson's Hotel. Mr. Mark... Bishop, that son of a bitch, lives in apartment 803. Did you get the sure, 
I got the film. So what's the story? I'm guessing she didn't stop for light refreshments. She made a call. Sounds like Mark Bishop has a heap of trouble headed his way. I've got an address. Wilson's Hotel, apartment 803. Oh shit, you better step on it. If he's got any sense, he'll be as far away from home as possible. If he had any sense, he wouldn't have tried bumping off Guy McAfee's wife in the first place. Or he'd have done the job properly. Are you blind? Yeah, very, very strange. What did you make of the kid? You believe her story? I think she was doped out of her tiny mind and given the casting couch. That fucking bitch Ballard sold her out. Oh, if Ballard was doing someone a favor, why did they try to kill her? How far away are we from this? All units in the vicinity in car 11K, 11 King, a 415 in progress at apartment 803, Wilson's Apartment Hotel, 1220 West 7th Street, Westlake Park, 11K code 3, all other units code 2, KGPL clear. Open your eyes! Gun it! Let's get to the apartment before someone gets hurt. Yeah, it's quite a, quite a way away, isn't it? Sorry me driving is not the best in this game, but I am really enjoying this case. I think this is one of the the better ones and it, it starts to get a bit more serious. Um, yeah, but here we go at Bishop's whole, uh, apartment. Let's get inside. You the cops? I tried to stop them. It's it's room 803, left out of the elevator. Sounds like we're about to make it a hat trick of hysterical female witnesses. Give it up, LAPD! I'm about to break your goddamn jaw. You shouldn't have tangled with me. Given as good as he gets. And now we're hitting the other one. There we go. Oh, that was cool. Don't know why I didn't do that the first time. Them two are gone. Hopefully, are we you get a shot of this wife now. I'm all right now. Those horrible, awful men. Perhaps you should sit down, ma'am. Yes, yes. Forgive me, officers. I'm very flushed. I'll just sit down for a moment. That's perfectly normal, ma'am. Take a moment while we look around. Yes, thank you. Let's go and get what hot. have to do to earn twenty thousand dollars and have the check just lying on the floor Goodness me. Just took a ring off it would take a smarter man than me to connect that Probably nothing. Nope. What about the lipstick? And the 
wrong thing. Lipstick. Not everything here is going to be relevant. Let's go. I don't know what it's vibrating for. There we go. This thing. Doesn't tell me anything. What's this? New Testament. Not sure this means much. It is frustrating sometimes, isn't it? Presented to Mark. It's got to be something in here, surely. Looks like the old movie set downtown. What's this? I don't think this is going to help us. Unless there was another uh, thing. Junk. Anything else? No. What's this? This isn't what we're looking for. Okay. Get out of the way, Bukowski. Nah, I'm not even gonna bother. Optimistic call. Anything else over here? Doesn't look like anything. What's this? Looks like a mermaid in the background. Silver screen. Who are these men in the picture? My husband, Mark, and Marlon Hopgood. They work together on occasion. That's Hopgood's shop. Well, we're missing something. The question is what? Doesn't give me anything to go on. Alright, this room's clear. What about this room? What's this? There you go. Great Wall of Babylon. A replica of a replica. Those men, I think they work for Guy McAfee. Do you know the name? No. Why should I? June Ballard is married to Guy McAfee. Have you heard of her? That slut. She's been badgering my husband for days. Mrs. McAfee alleges that your husband tried to kill her and her friend last night. I think you should tell us what you know. My husband's a movie producer. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business. Hmm. June Ballard said she had a deal to be in his new picture. Mark repeatedly told her no. He had Joan Leslie lined up for the role. That's how he got the finance. June made all kinds of threats. She was very rude to me. You know June Ballard? We were both on the same picture a few years back. That's how I met my husband. Where can we find your husband, ma'am? He told me he would be on set. That's all I know. Either we find him, or McAfee's people do, Mrs. Bishop. If you care for him, you should make sure that we find him first. I do care for him. But I don't really know where he'd go if he were in trouble. Somebody got that one wrong. Hopgood might know. I don't know. Why is your husband paying Lorna Hopgood $20,000? 
Lorna? Marlin's ex-wife? Are you sure? You're lying, Mrs. Bishop. It's some kind of payoff. You know exactly what the money is for and who it's getting paid to. Do I? Would you like to prove that, detective? Your husband looks like he's being blackmailed. They obviously have something on him if he's prepared to kill to cover it up. Why is the payment going to Hopgood and not McAfee? Lorna works at a check cashing place in Hollywood. You need to ask Hopgood why he needs that much money in cash. Your husband was at a casting yesterday with a young girl? Not that I know of. He told me he was looking at locations. The picture's been cast. You know exactly what happened yesterday, don't you, Mrs. Bishop? You've been through it yourself. I'm gonna call my lawyer. You have a damn cheek accusing me of that. You should be ashamed of yourself, detective. I've already been through a lot today without your harassment. Your husband is in trouble. It could go easier for him if you were more helpful, Mrs. Bishop. He's a big boy, detective, and so are you. This is Hollywood. There's always a deal to be done. I'm meant to be using the telephone, apparently. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need a location on a silver screen prop store. Just a moment. Silver screen props, corner third and Figueroa. Thank you. <clears throat> Get your hat, Bukowski. We're off. Where's his hat? <laughs> oh dear. Right. Let's go. An aging movie star, a wannabe starlet, and a movie producer's wife were finally rubbing shoulders with the almost rich and famous. And from the stories they've given us, clearly none of them can act. Right then, where are we going to go? I think, uh... The Can you drive to this one? Oh, that's where we've <laughs> got to go. <laughs> yeah, it's certainly a very intriguing case so far. Mm, don't really know how our last question was wrong. Mrs. Bishop knows more than she's letting on. She doesn't seem to realize how much trouble her husband is in. The LAPD are the least of their worries right now. Yeah. You think she'd have gotten the hint after those hatchet men redecorated her apartment? Maybe she's just loyal. Or she's in on it. She didn't seem like your average giddy broad with nothing between the ears. Or she might just be trying to buy enough time for Bishop to put a couple of oceans between him and McCaffrey. Interesting. Hmm. So we're mixing it with Hollywood stars then, eh? Let's see if we can find anything out at the prop store. Let's go. Phelps and Bukowski, LAPD. We are investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard and Jessica Hamilton. Oh, Christ! I'm Marlon Hopgood. How can I help? You hold castings here? How'd you hear about that? I got a little soundstage out back. Lead the way.
Keep him here, Stefan. I'm going to take a look around. What's this got to do with me? Don't try my patience, knucklehead. Oh, he's got his hat back. How wonderful. It doesn't appear to be connected. Well, how do you know? What's this? This doesn't pertain to the case. Hmm. That toilet looks awfully suspicious. Turn off the lights, Hopgood. Why would I want to do that? Humor him. One way mirrors. There's a room on the other side. Huh. Well, well. Find a way into that peep den, Phelps. I'll stay here and keep our pervert company. Doping a 15-year-old kid and abusing her in a screen test. What is wrong with these people? It's actually quite topical, isn't it, about all of the this sort of thing in uh, in real life Hollywood. So maybe the game was before its time in that way. Right. Yeah, I said something yeah, about the toilet, well. didn't I? You couldn't fit a rat through there. Well, what on earth do you get in then? Hmm. Unless it's around the, uh, the, the other side. Get out of the way. Maybe it is this way. It isn't. Aha. Uh -huh. Jungle Drums, 8th and Francisco. Attention, Mark Bishop. Those are most of them. What happened to the film of Hamilton's screen test? She's got it because she said um, she said something about uh, oh yes I've got the film so not Jessica um, June Ballard she's got it I can guarantee it. Told you that toilet looked suspicious, didn't it? <laughs> right, come on. Let's go and find some more clues and then talk to him. I doubt it. Where are the other clues? Some more up here? Apparently not. I'm guessing one of them will have like the head torn off it. This is really weird. 
I don't know particularly where I'm looking. There's definitely some clues still to get. You ever do any work for Mark Bishop? Mainly do work for the studios. RKO, Republic, Warner Brothers. So yeah, when Bishop is doing work for a studio, yeah. When did you last see him? Yeah, I'm doing work for his next picture. Still pre-production though. I haven't seen him around here in a while. I know you're lying, Hopgood. Bishop was here, and you know exactly what he was doing and what he left lying around afterwards. You come in here without a warrant, and now you start throwing your weight around? Hmm. You should get your facts straight Damn. before you come in here and start shooting off that mouth of yours. McAfee's men are looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. Any idea where he might have gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife, my advice to him would be to leave town. I'm warning you, Hopgood. If you give him up to McAfee and we find out about it... Wind it back a notch, tough guy. I'm telling you, I don't know where he is. That's Not all for now, Hopgood. We're taking you in. Bells. Roy Earl, advice. Hold on a moment. This is clearly a vice case. You've been roughing up my informant? Hopgood is a vice informer? Yes, he is, Phelps, and a very important one. Look at that mug. Have you been upsetting these two officers, Marlin? So we just drop it? You do if you know what's good for you. You need to catch the movie producer before an angry husband does, from what I'm hearing. I'll be making a full report to the captain, detective. You do that, kid. We're all very impressed with you. Let it slide, Cole. Let's get out of here. Detectives! Johnny Goldberg, you work for Mickey C. That's right, detectives. You wouldn't happen to know the guys who roughed up Mrs. Bishop earlier today by any chance. No, no, not us. We don't do that kind of thing. It's the husband we'd like to talk to. This is a police matter. You don't want to be taken in for obstruction of justice, do you, boys? You could try the obstruction rap, but uh, it won't stick. We could beat that. You've had your ten cents worth, gentlemen. Bishop knows how the world works. Mrs. McAfee hits him up for a movie part. Happens every day. But Bishop takes it a step too far and tries to rub out Mrs. McAfee. Naturally, Guy is going to get upset. What made you think Bishop would be here? We figure he might be planning a little accident for Hopgood, too. Those two guys have got some unfinished business. You let us know if you find Bishop. Guy McAfee can be a very generous man. I'm only going to warn you once, gentlemen, to stay out of this. This is a police matter. We will be bringing Mark Bishop into custody. <laughs> At least he's polite. Kind of dumb, but polite. But I'm a lot less polite, you smug son of a bitch. So let me put it in ruder terms that even a pair of blockheads like you might understand. The only reason that you don't have bars on your windows already is because you're small fry. And we don't waste our time on small fry. You stay away from Bishop, and you stay away from me. Is that clear enough for you, asshole? Now run along back to your boss so we can pat you on the head and tell you what good boys you are. It seemed a bit personal, that. Huh? I don't think they like your little pep talk, Bukowski. Oh, shit! Get us out of here! I need to be closer, Cole! They really don't want anybody getting to Bishop before they do. Yeah, I, I want to shoot them. I don't want them to be uh, alive anymore. Hey, 
Did you kill him? Oh, we're dead. Dear me. <laughs> That's annoying. I hope we don't have to start the whole thing again. I'll be rather frustrated if we have to do that. Hmm. Phelps. Can I skip Roy this? Advice. Hold on a moment. This is clearly a vice case. You've been roughing up my... All right, guys. Oh, no. Here we go. <clears throat> here we go. Detectives. I want to skip this bit as well. I don't think they like your little... Where are they? There we go. Let's see him chase us now. On to the movie set, Phelps. Let's roll. Oh, Christ. And they say working traffic is like watching paint dry. <sighs> you know how to piss people off, Bukowski. Hey, if they're prepared to gun down cops in broad daylight, McAfee really means business. Seems like we're the only ones who want Bishop alive. I have a good mind just to let him go work on the son of a bitch. I'm about done putting my life on the line to protect some child molester. That's our job. They don't get to dole out the justice. Yeah. I'm glad that we didn't have to watch those cutscenes and stuff, and I'm glad we killed them so they can't harm us any later. So, yeah, let's head to the set, and hopefully we'll, we'll sort out this bishop guy. Take it easy, Phelps. I'd rather get there in one piece. There's a slippery bastard now. No. God damn it! Mark Bishop, stop! LAPD! Get him, Phelps. I'll cover the exit. It's always me chasing. Why can't Bukowski chase? <laughs> He's really slow. We're trying to help you, Bishop! I kind of want to shoot him in the leg, but <laughs> he hasn't got a gun, so it wouldn't be fair, would it? Well, let's keep going. Come on. It's us or McAfee's boys. Your choice. I didn't do anything. This is just ridiculous. Running across the movie set like this. Hopefully staying close enough. Oh my god! Oh my god! Ooh, we just survived that. Bishop, that's enough! Yeah, got too close there. Don't get me gun out. <laughs> I just want to fire a warning shot. Don't make this any harder on yourself, Bishop. Oh God! Jump! Keep going! Oh my God! Blackmailing me! This is ridiculously how badly put together this is. Hands in the air, Bishop! Move another inch, and you're dead. Mark Bishop, you're under arrest for the attempted murder of June Ballard and the rape and attempted murder of Jessica Hamilton. All right, I'll come quietly. Just don't kill me. If you found me, then McAfee's goons will too. Oh, we need we need to get out of here. All right, but you stay close. Any tricks, and I'll save McAfee's boys the trouble. Follow me. I know another way out of this place.
remember this bit. Christ, detective, they're trying to kill me! Last chance to back the hell down! Oh, I'm going out of sunshine. How on earth didn't that shoot him? Reinforcements are on the way. McAfee doesn't make the rules. You hear me? LAPD, you're making a big mistake. There's no way out of here. I thought you said you knew where you were going. We have to jump for it. Find some Got cover! in a war zone. Waste bullets this way. Ridiculous, I can't... I can't shoot them. Right. Is this really the best McAfee's got? I'm gonna have to use this. That's better. He's down as well. That was a good shot. No doubt they're gonna appear up there. For the love of God, how many are there? So predictable. I'll kill every last one of you if I have to. The statue there. There's a ladder leading to the ground. I don't want to die here. Those barrels at the base of the elephant column. They're full of gasoline. Shoot them quickly. Follow me. We need to get him to the car. Find the cover! Not doing too badly, are we? For two detectives. Get into the car! I can come to you from here! You're almost there! Weapons on the ground! Now! Head up, we're just waiting for you. Oh, it's down. There we go. Now, this is what I call a result. Mark Bishop, erstwhile film producer, an all around piece of shit, catches a fast ticket to Quentin for statue rape and attempted murder. So he gets to spend the next 15 years playing sissy instead of sticking it to little girls. That is justice. Capital J, Detective Phelps. You developed such a reputation, I'm not gonna be able to hold on to you any longer. You're getting promoted. Go on, get your new assignment. It was good working with you, son. Good stuff. Getting promoted. Phelps, Bukowski, this your work? Can I help you, detective? Sorry, Cap, didn't see you there. Yeah, I'll bet you didn't. 
This is a traffic case. You need something? I'm here to buy a drink for the two LAPD traffic cops who broke the back of Guy McAfee's private army. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Captain? Go right ahead. Get in. I'm buying. You'll like this place. A lot of movie people hang out here. You like jazz, Cole? The hopheads love it. Sure, I guess. Big bands and swing, I can understand, but this bebop palaver? How are you supposed to dance to that? This is Phelps, Leroy. Be nice to him. You'll like this place. They treat you right. You like a table, Roy? What do you think we want to do? Stand at the bar like I'll chumps? I'll get a table ready for you. Then. Don't look so happy to see me, Alphonse. I might get the wrong impression. Cole, this is Alphonse. He's a French Negro from Africa. Can you beat that? The Congo. A pleasure to meet you, Alphonse. Is Elsa singing tonight? Yes, she is. She has the next set. Come on, Cole. You can meet Elsa while they're fixing us a table. You'll like her. She's something else. Maybe another night, Roy. She's pretty beat up about it. Get your hands off me. Don't ever tell me what to do or what not to do, Alphonse. You got a nice club here. Don't spoil it. If you will follow me, detectives. Just through the door. I really don't like this guy. He was my only real friend, Harlan. We went through it all. Do you realize what he did to me? <laughs> yes, you nice. have no idea. You said it was construction work. It was an industrial accident, Elsa. How can I be held responsible? Elsa, are you going on? Louis, for God's sake, he was my best friend. The only man who ever loved me without putting his hands on me. Hi, Elsa. Here's someone I'd like you to meet. Cole Phelps, war hero and crime fighter extraordinaire. And why would I want to meet another fascist from the LABD? Sorry about this, Cole. What an evening I'm having. First a Negro puts his hands on me, and then this. Who do you think you're talking to, you German junkie whore? Don't you ever forget your place with me again. Do you hear me? Evening, Doc. How's business? Sanguine. Louis, help me here. I'm gonna have to give her something before her performance. Blow it off, Cole. These artsy-fartsy types always get a little flighty. Meet Dr. Harlan Fontaine, doctor to the stars. Mr. Fix-It to the mental wreckage of Hollywood. So what about that drink, boys? That was the weirdest thing ever. <laughs> Dear me. Yeah, we didn't do that well this time. Still got three star, though. Um, and we did get a promotion to the homicide desk, which will be fun. But we'll be doing that in the next uh, in the next episode. Um, Bishop takes a fall, but Hopgood could have told you what tipped him over the the edge. Fair enough. Right. Um, that's what we're gonna do in the next episode. So if you've enjoyed that, make sure you leave a big fat like down below. Six months later. Should we watch this first? No. No, we shouldn't. <laughs> uh, if you've enjoyed that, make sure you leave a like down below. It really does mean a lot for me and for the channel. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.